to the Seagirt Marine Terminal. They certainly are, and this is one of the last steps needed to reopen the Port of Baltimore. Now, we have team coverage. We're all over the place this morning. We have Alexis and Amy, who we'll check in with in just a bit. But for now, let's send it out to Investigator Mike Helgren, who is joining us live on the water this morning. And Mike, good morning to you. What are you seeing from your vantage point? Good morning, Tim and Cena. Well, this is going to be a slow operation. The water is fairly calm this morning. It's a bit chilly out here. There are some five tugboats that are going to assist with this operation. The ship is only going to be moving at around one mile an hour. And remember, this has been more than 50 days, some eight weeks in the making to get the dolly refloated from its spot before they take it over to Seagirt. They had to pump out more than a million gallons of water that was on the ship. Used to balance it out. We know this has been a very painstaking process. They, one week ago, had to blow up a large chunk of the key bridge that was on top of the dolly in order to get to this point. And then they had to bring in divers. They had to physically go into the water to make sure there wasn't any extra debris or obstructions. And, and they had to remove all of that. So this was supposed to happen last week. It was supposed to happen two days uh, after those explosions. So on Wednesday, but it had to be pushed back. Because they want to do this as safely as possible. Again, some five tugboats are going to assist in this. We are in the safe zone so as not to interfere with any operations. And you can see the dolly right near where we are. Uh, this could take much of the day. The preparation started some 18 hours ago. They started last night to make sure that they could safely do this and that there weren't any restrict, weren't any uh, debris that that was. Uh, that would uh, hinder this operation. And once the dolly is moved over to Seagirt, they're going to, we understand, allow some crew members to leave. Those crew members have been on board this entire time. The NTSB is also going to continue to have access to the ship so that they can continue their investigation into any possible electrical problems or other uh, malfunctions that caused this tragedy some eight weeks ago, Tim and Cena.